everybody welcome back to our channel and welcome back to another video so today's video was going to be our shop with me grocery haul now remember in one of my last videos probably the last video that I put up the low spin February I was talking about the fact that the children were going to be doing the grocery shopping for February as a part of their um, homeschool personal finance curriculum so um, they were going to be given a budget they were going to be given a list of things they needed to get then they had to decide where they were going to shop and they had to do all of the shopping so we are headed i stopped at the post office to make a i'm, I'm delivering out uh elizabeth i'm sending out your meal planner right now um so that's where we're stopping to the post office to do that and then we're going to take the kids they're going to do one class and then i'm going to pick up alana to help with the shopping today because jackson's does sparring on wednesdays so i'm going to take alana to class one then jackson will do another class and then i'll pick them both back up for youth group tonight we have to do it before youth group i mean after youth group we have to do the grocery shopping before youth group because they don't get out till eight o'clock so if we went to the grocery store after that we would be 9 30 10 o'clock getting home and wednesday night is a late night as well tuesday night's late wednesday night is late as well so alana's going to help me do the grocery shopping so they're going to tell you what's on the list for this week so guys here is our grocery list um ignore this side um that was from something different but it's the fifth today so we need toilet paper paper towels i put jam which normally means preserves but i don't feel like writing the whole word we need some water relish mayonnaise some berries if mom wants them i just bought a big thing of mayonnaise when i didn't see any in the pantry did you buy it in the pantry when did you buy it Some bologna, because we like bologna. How about two bolognese? Right. Sliced cheese. Um, I mean, we don't, we eat um, cheese get, very fast. We like cheese. Some shredded cheese, because if you need poffles or if you just need shredded cheese, you need it. Which we don't really have any. Um, pork rinds, if mom wants them, because she likes them for snacks. Um, we always, in, we always enjoy flavor packets they make drinking water water much better um i need some deodorant i lost it uh mom likes cauliflower so i put that on the list and coffee pods and i also forgot to put something else on the list what what is that love carb wraps you love them and since mom loves wraps I'm putting the mom on the list too and she might come up with some dinner idea but that's pretty much all we have on our list although i'm sure mom will get some more stuff okay that was our grocery list the budget is 60 dollars, and the goal is to stay in that budget which it's a nice goal we sometimes go over but that's just because we need things Although some of those could be wanted things, which is still okay, because you know you might want things in life, right, Mom? She said right. Um, anything else we need to tell the mother, Mom? I don't think so. We're heading to Walmart, and we'll see you guys then. Alrighty, you guys. So I am. Um, this is the kids' is. Uh, week to do the shopping but they're in taekwondo so i just popped into uh harris teeter i was looking for a couple of things and just happened to um come over to the markdown produce i'm finding some things in markdown produce that i want to get so everything in my cart is marked a dollar one two three six seven dollars right now 
which is going to come out of the grocery budget, but it's veggies. And I'd much rather spend that on veggies to make sure that we have enough going into our diet. And so what I'm going to do, because these are marked down, is I'm going to get these home and I'm going to go ahead and fry this up in a pan and just make like a big stir fry. And hopefully I can find some meat to go with it. I'm trying to decide about these. Um, these are big, big portobello mushrooms. This one is a little bit wet. And then it's a little brown on this side where this side is not, where it's been leaking. So I think I'm gonna pass on that. And I'm checking these. I think I'm just gonna pass on the mushrooms and just go ahead and get those. So I came in here to see if they had the um, wraps on sale because sometimes they'll have those cheaper here than at Walmart. But I am letting Alana do the rest of the shopping. But I want to pick up these couple things because they were only a dollar a piece. So the due, uh, best buy date is today, which is the 5th of February. And so I am going to just go ahead and, um, well, it says sell by 2 6. So I'm going to go ahead and fry all that up when I get home from taking the kids. All right, you guys. So this is mom. Alana has the camera. I'm driving, so she's working on the list. Um, I went over to Harris Teeter and there were several things just cheaper at Harris Teeter. And so while I was there, I just went ahead and picked up a couple things. Hands down, toilet paper is cheaper at Harris Teeter. So I picked up toilet paper. I picked up the relish. Now there's a relish story. So I picked up the relish. I am loading everything into my vehicle and I hear a bag hit the ground. Clump there goes the relish so I ended up having to buy the relish twice I did take that out of some of my own personal monies just so I wouldn't take it out of the grocery money I didn't mean to drop it but it the way I had those bags in my hand it was in the same um, bag as the mayonnaise and it just dropped down and it wasn't anything I could do but it, it I thought it was $2.99 it was only $2.49 so it wasn't bad so And then I got mayonnaise and that was all I think I got because the low carb wraps were more expensive at Harris Teeter. Um, to this, well, you'll see it. They had um, some Carb Master yogurt on sale and that yogurt, I actually mi mixed it. I'll tell you when I do the grocery haul, mix it up. They have a three-day sale. I think it starts Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. It's 17 cent a carton, but it's on sale regularly for 30, 34 cent, which is still cheaper. One, two good yogurt costs a dollar and 24 cent. So if I can get a one yogurt for 34 cent, I've saved, you know, almost a dollar, 90 cents, something like that. So anyway, those were a couple things I got. And then I found some, uh, like I said, I found the Markdown veggies. And I think I spent about 7 or $8 on veggies Markdown. But other than that, that's what I got. And we'll see. I think we have $36 left to see what we can get um, with the rest of our budget. So we'll see how it goes. So what's the question? Do you want to get any berries? You okay. said you were going to take off strawberries for a while. Well, I am taking off strawberries for a while. We have, but blueberries need to come off as well. And we have $36. So we got to make the best choices. What do you think is the best choice? Let's get berries. Okay, let's move out of the way. We're, excuse us. We're holding up the place. So what's next? Blueberries. They were, when I did them on Carb Manager, it was a higher, um, no, because they didn't have it. Okay, moving along. All the way at the end. Oh, they're doing the floors over. Mm -hmm. What are we trying to figure out? Okay. I forgot to put that on the list. Bacon bits on the list? Okay. Let's go. What else? All right. Yeah. Mm. 
keep going that way. Um, we're going to skip that. I don't think we have to get that. We can just keep doing what we've been doing. I drink too much coffee for coffee pods. Mm -hmm. There's bread. Oh, we just skipped them, didn't we? No, bread is, they moved it. Oh, they did? What are you looking for? The wraps? I On that they one. No, they moved it. They, they um, moved all kinds of things around. But I don't know. Maybe all the way down. Four net grams? Yeah, get the four net grams. Okay. It's about a dollar cheaper here than it was at Harris Teeter. We'll see. We'll make, we'll make the jam and move along. Slice, shredded pork, little pack of deodorant, cream cheese, paper towels, and Okay. I haven't been seeing it in here. Really? I got it from the other Walmart. We'll just have to have water, regular water. Can't keep going. Okay. We can get a juice, a juice, and make the make the sparkling water like we've been having. That takes up flavor packets. Oh, okay. Bologna. Okay. What are you looking at right here? Oh, I got y'all some string cheese. Well, I got me some string cheese. Maybe it's for my lunch box. Mozzarella with the good one. Which one do we get? The low skim, low moisture, yeah. We're actually going to go this way, Mom, and on our way back. What do we need to get? Um, from here, we need to we need what? Cream cheese. Okay. Yeah. What are you doing? I'm trying to do math in my head. Doing math in your head? What are you mathing? Um, 14 times 20. What's, what's, what's 3 mm -hmm. times 12? Mm -hmm. Oh. Oh, then I already knew that. See? <laughs> Gotta make it easy so you can remember. Alrighty, you guys, so we are back from the grocery store, and here is our haul. We went to two places. We went to Harris Teeter, and we went to Walmart. Our budget was $60, and so this is what we were able to pick up. We got some diced cabbage, peppers, and onions. Two of those are what's called Southern Slaw. They were on the markdown for a dollar a piece. These will need to be cooked immediately. We also got this um, vegetable stir fry that was also marked down for a dollar. And then this superfood selection uh, was marked down as well. Now this has some quinoa in it. We're not using that. And this vinaigrette stuff, I'm not using any of that either. I'm just going to put these in a fry pan and fry them up without that extraness. 
I think it's quinoa and all of those. And all of those were a dollar. I picked up some string cheese. The string cheese was two for six or three dollars each. I had a dollar off coupon. So that was two dollars. I just some things to throw into my lunchbox or me and Jackson. The sweet relish was two forty nine. So the first one I bought when I was putting the bags in the car, it hit the ground and it cracked. So I actually had to end up taking a few dollars of my personal money and just buying another one of those. So two forty nine. This um home brand mayo was a dollar ninety nine. It's the cheapest from Walmart or Harris Teeter. It's a non name brand. Picked it up. Their toilet paper today was on sale two for three dollars or a dollar fifty. That's the cheapest I've gotten it in a long time. Country Crock, this is the plant based butter. I was originally not going to get it, but it was two for five and I had a dollar off coupon. So I got it for a dollar fifty, which is cheaper than I could have purchased it without the coupon. So I'll put it in the freezer, no problem. And then I picked up two things of steak. They had one for a dollar seventy two and one for. 314 because I need to eat something for dinner. And so I just pulled those out. And then this is where I kind of made my small mistake. So the Carb Master um, yogurt. Now I scanned this on Carb Manager. This came up as four net grams of carb with keto grade A, scanning it on Carb Manager. Um, and I'll scan it again if it'll let me and I'll uh, pop a picture in at the end. But um, this was on sale for 34 cent. But I think I got it confused. They're having a three day sale. I think it's Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. This is on sale for 17 cents. So I could have got twice as many for um, half the price. Twice as many for the same price as I paid for what I have here. But I like yogurt and Jackson likes yogurt. And since, and normally what I have us do is we'll split one. So I'll have half, he'll have half just for portion. And um, this said, um, this came up four net grams of carbs when I, when I scanned it. And then also the um, cinnamon roll came up that way. So I'll scan it again because I'm looking on the thing now and it says six grams, but I'll scan it again to see. So that was the one I scanned to begin with. So everything I spent over at Harris Teeter minus the double relish was $23.36. So that's what I was able to spend at Harris Teeter. I got a few a few um, savings, like 23%, but I didn't have a lot of coupons. Then I went over to Walmart to pick up the rest of the things that we had on the list. Bologna, 98 cent. Cream cheese was $1.33. Mozzarella cheese, $1.98. Extra sharp cheese slices, $1.33. La Banderita carb wraps, $2.82. Bacon was $1.33, I believe. Cauliflower, a dollar each. These were mom's splurges. So the kids were doing the grocery shopping this week and they're always throwing stuff in my cart. So I was throwing stuff in their cart. The um, Russell Stouffer sugar-free toffee was one eighty-seven. The um, sweet chili pistachios. Now I can't eat a lot of those on keto, but they were four forty-six. And then of course my max pork rinds at two sixty-eight is what I always pay for that. Um, Alana needed deodorant. I think that's like a dollar and some. And then the trash bags we were out, and that was a dollar eighty-eight. So all that I spent at Walmart, and I can't find my receipt right at the moment was $30.15. So $30.15 and $23.36. Um, brings our grand total to $53.51. $53.51. Now, my budget was $60, so I have extra. I have about $6 and some change left over. So what we're going to do with that is we're going to put that into the birthday fund for Alana to get some decorations. Um, if we can get all the decorations plus the food we need for the birthday social, then I'm going to take any leftover change from that, and that's going into the summer 
cash uh, envelope or the sinking fund, the summer sinking fund for summer groceries. So I'm going to try to get everything I need for her birthday party to include the ice cream, all the toppings, the hot dogs, the chips, the dip, the buns, everything with the $56 that I have. If I have any left over that's going into the summer grocery budget sinking fund. So I do want to take you to um, Alana to let her give you a little bit of a thought process about how the shopping trip went and how the experience was. Okay, so mom wanted me to tell you guys um, how the shopping went for me. And I've seen her shop like all the time. Like we don't shop with her all the time. But um, I know how she shops. And to be honest, I stuck to the 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 plan, like I got everything off the list. She gets like extra stuff, so that's how she kind of runs over a little bit. But it's okay. We like end up needing some of that extra stuff, and um, it was really a really easy grocery, uh, grocery shopping. I just got what I needed. There were a couple things I think that we could have still gotten, but I wanted to make sure that we stayed in our budget and well that was that was my experience on the whole thing um it was interesting to let to have me as the lead because mom's always pushing the cart she's always you know grabbing this grabbing that um you know and she does the stuff by herself now because we're at taekwondo all the time and um it was like nice to be in charge Guess what happens with being older and all that. Um, well, that's what I think. Very easy. Just got what I needed to get. If we ever need to go back for anything, I'm sure you will. But this was my grocery haul. So there it is, you guys. Grocery shopping trip number one for February. Low spin is in the books. We did well. I'm very excited. We are going to use what we have in this house and not continue to just buy things. I want to cycle through my food. Now, I'm a stock up person. I'm a prep person. I get all of that. But there are just some items that we have had in here and I want to make sure that we're moving through. I am a meat person. I love to find a good deal on meat. But um, I just want to make sure that we're recycling through our stuff. So that's what we're doing for the low spin. But I'm also trying to shave the budget a little bit and make sure that I'm meeting my goals for my summer months. Because we're in February. We have March, April, and May. Only three more pay months. And then I'm out of pay months. So I'm trying to make sure that I can get in what I need to get in. So that we are not challenged during our summer um, month. So anywho, there it is. I don't know what we're having for grocery, uh, for the meal plan. So I can't even tell you that I may make a separate video, but there it is the grocery haul. We do appreciate you guys so much for stopping by. If you like this video, thumb it up. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that little bell and we'll see you next time. Bye now.